In the ruins of a mosque in Rafah, the faithful held prayers for Eid, marking the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. This is the Eid of destruction, not the Eid of joy, says this refugee. Despite hopes the month would usher in a ceasefire, there is only a stalemate. With Israel launching a new wave of airstrikes in Gaza, killing three sons and three grandchildren of the leader of Hamas. While Hamas has reportedly notified Israel that they are unable to track down 40 living hostages needed for a deal. The President of the United States. And In Washington, U.S. President Joe Biden urged both sides to find a solution immediately. They need to move on the proposal that's been made. And as I said, uh, we'll get these hostages home where they belong, but also bring back a six-week ceasefire that we need now. Biden's words have so far not been backed by action, despite his increasingly direct criticism of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So I think what he's doing is a mistake. After the Israeli strike that killed seven aid workers, Biden called on his close ally to do everything it can to improve the humanitarian situation in Gaza. Though supplies are moving in more quickly, the United Nations says it's far below the amount needed for humanitarian needs. There's no excuse to not provide for the medical and the, and the, and the, and the food needs of those people. They should be done now. Yet Israel is reportedly pushing ahead with a planned offensive in Rafah. The U.S. has not put any conditions on military aid as it warns about what comes next, believing Iran or its proxies are on the verge of launching an attack on Israeli soil, deepening American resolve to back its ally. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.